Hi friends, it's Michelle Maddox of Sedona Meditation Experiences with another episode of Sedona Meditation Adventures. And this week I'm out south of the village of Oak Creek on a trail called Turkey Creek. And I'm just going to do a panorama so you can see all around me is beauty. It's a gorgeous November afternoon. Actually, I think it's still morning. And in this direction, you can kind of see Cathedral Rock out there. Yeah, it looks a little smaller from this perspective, but you can see I'm out in the wilderness. It feels very far away from civilization. And it's not, of course. Here in Sedona, we have a lot of beautiful hiking trails and gorgeous open forest service land. And to me, hiking is one of the very finest activities that you can do in Sedona. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. As a meditation guide, I take a lot of people out on the Red Rocks and do meditation experiences. And people often ask me, what other activities should we do while we're in Sedona? You know, they want to do something spiritual um, and something safe during this time of pandemic. And so I'll share with you over the series of the next few videos, some of my favorite things to do in Sedona and with an eye towards staying safe during the pandemic. I'm not going to promote any kind of large group activities um, where you're going to be around strangers crammed together in tight spaces. That's not my style. So I'm going to share with you things that I would truly recommend that you can do safely and really enjoy the beauty of Sedona. And the first thing is, I've already mentioned it, it's hiking. It's getting out into this beautiful backcountry of Sedona. To me, that's always been the magnificence of Sedona. Yes, the energy here is tremendous, absolutely. But the energy wouldn't be here if it weren't for this amazing land and these red rock formations and just the beauty of this high desert area. There are many trails that you can do in Sedona many activities that you can do on those hiking trails. I'll share with you kind of the big picture overview of hiking in Sedona. First off, there's trails that are right in Sedona itself, and those are usually going to be the very popular ones. Uh, the Vortex sites, which I've done video series on. I'll link to them below in the notes for this episode. But the four Vortex sites are Airport Mesa, Cathedral Rock, Bell Rock, and Boynton Canyon. All of those are fabulous hikes right in town, and they're going to be probably crowded even early in the morning. When I first moved to Sedona back in the late 90s, I could spend the day on top of Cathedral Rock and see maybe two or three people. Those days are long gone. So these are popular hikes. You're going to have uh, parking challenges. There's a lot of people who do their experience of nature differently than maybe what you have in mind. So I'm not saying don't do those. I'm just saying if you're looking for some quiet backcountry experience, you're probably going to be a little disappointed simply by the number of people that you're going to have to share the trail with. Now having said that, it's usually possible to find you know, an offshoot trail where you're not trampling all over the desert, you know, be respectful of the desert, but you can find a spot away from the crowds of people where you can sit down and do like I'm doing here, you know, have a quiet meditation spot. Now I'm not on one of those trails. I'm quite far off any known trail. Well, it's a known trail, but not a popular one. Um, but that's what you're going to find in town. Now, even within those in-town trails, some of them are climbs that are quite steep. Not so steep that you need equipment, but still, if you're concerned about heights, you want to be sure to uh, make sure you're getting into a trail that's within your comfort zone. If you're afraid of heights, you know, you're often looking down over very steep ledges and it's possible to slip. It does happen. So if you're concerned about that, maybe don't choose to climb up a, a tall height trail, like for example, climbing to the top of Cathedral Rock or to the top of Bell Rock. Having said that, there's trails that skirt around those, those uh, particular places. So if you don't wanna climb, but you still wanna be near those monumental rocks, 
look for a trail that is flat and easier. So there's that. And with that comes what time of the year is it? You, know, you definitely don't want to be out hiking in the heat of the summer. If you come in the summer, you'll want to hike in the mornings and in the evenings and leave the daytime for other activities. Unless you're going to be hiking by the creek, of course. In the winter, it's usually not an issue. Um, it's nice and temperate, so uh, you can enjoy those climbing hikes a little more comfortably. The other type of hike is a canyon type hike, where you basically are hiking into a canyon with the walls of the canyon and maybe some elevation change, but not climbing a rock. And there's loads of trails like that in Sedona as well. Boynton Canyon, one of the vortex sites, is a prime example. Soldier's Pass is another beautiful canyon hike. So there's loads of options and you just want to kind of think about your ability and what it is that you want to achieve. Are you wanting to go on a long hike just to get some exercise? Are you wanting to see some spectacular images and take pictures and just enjoy the scenery? Do you want to climb? Do you want to go back a canyon? Do you want to be by the creek? You know, there's really something for everyone. And if you're staying for a few days, you can scatter it around and experience different environments here. So when you go out hiking, of course, I always recommend that you do find a quiet spot and take some time to tune into nature. I'm telling you, this is the number one activity in Sedona. It's really what it's all about. Yeah, you can spend a lot of money and do all kinds of tours and this and that, and that's fun. But if you're coming here to really tune in and get in touch with your spiritual side, there's no better way to do that than just come out on the land and, you know, get real. Meditate, get quiet, practice some of the healing techniques that maybe you've read about but haven't fully given a try. Um, or maybe find, you know, a healer or someone to help you out. But for uh, basic Sedona activities, you can't beat hiking. So I'm going to get us ready to do a little meditation here. I hope you'll join me. And wherever you are, if you're outside or inside, I hope you'll take a few moments just to stop what you're doing, step away from, you know, the computer screen if you can, if you can still hear me in the video. Uh, definitely don't be driving or operating any heavy equipment. When you meditate, you want to give it your full attention, as if to say there's nowhere else that I need to be, there's nothing else that I need to be doing. This is what I'm devoting my attention to, and I'm 100% here. So make yourself comfortable. I'm going to get my tinctures, which if you've seen my videos, you know, these are my favorite outdoor sort of bells to ring to lead us in and out of the meditation. And we'll meditate for just a few moments, and I'll share some of this beautiful Sedona energy with you in this meditation. So go ahead and close your eyes. And as always, we'll start with a few long, slow, deep breaths, breathing into your belly, and then fully exhaling. And just take a few breaths like that at your own pace, letting go of all the static, letting yourself be fully present and now allow your breath to become natural and just take a moment to notice where the energy feels like it is in your body wherever it is consciously drop it down into your chest you can use your breath to help bring your attention and your awareness down into your chest Drop down lower into your belly, down into your hips, and just let the energy continue dropping down into the earth. Even if you're in a high rise building, you can still let your energy connect and ground with the earth. And just take a breath or two and feel that groundedness anchor you in your body 
to the earth. And from this grounded place, just take a moment to clean the energy around your space. Just imagine your aura field extending out, maybe an arm's radius around your whole body. And just imagine that energetic space around you being cleansed. You can see it bathed in radiant light. You can see any kind of static or confusion or, you know, energy that's not for your highest good. Just see it being swept away. And just feel, fill that space with brightness, light. And if it helps, you can imagine kind of a barrier around your energetic space like a field of energy that's supporting your energy and keeping it contained. So you consciously decide if you want to let other energy in or not. And just take a moment to breathe and feel the security of this space around you. And now from this space around you, notice the environment where you find yourself. I'll tell you what I'm experiencing and you can notice what's true in your environment. I feel the warm Arizona sun shining on me. I can hear a little insect buzzing around me. I can hear the airplanes flying around Sedona. Birds chirping in the distance. I can feel the rocks below my feet. And I can feel the dry desert air filling my nostrils. And the gentle smells of Kenyan and juniper trees. And I can feel that beautiful Sedona energy lifting my heart, beckoning me to go deeper within. And I'm going to allow myself to bask in this energy for a few minutes. So meditate with me in silence and just let yourself bask in whatever energy is present in your environment, energy that you welcome in. Remember you can keep that kind of energetic force field up to not let energy that's not supportive for you in. bask in the good vibrations and we'll meditate like this in silence for a minute You can continue to stay in that meditative space for as long as you want.
But if you're ready to come out, just go slow. And just stay with that feeling of the energy around you. Let your energy merge with the energy around you. So if you're coming to Sedona, my friends, I hope you'll come into a meditation experience with me. It's the meditation experience of a lifetime. And I think it's one of the very finest spiritual experiences that you can do in Sedona. It combines hiking, a little bit of hiking, and a lot of meditation. So thank you for joining me today. Please check the notes below this video for links to hiking resources in Sedona. Thank you for joining me. This is Michelle Maddox saying goodbye for now.